Hello folks, uh, what I'm going to show you now is a preview of the new tool changer uh, component in EMC, tentatively called IOV2, and I've built it to use an uh, Axis simulated environment with a great VCP panel here on the right, which shows all the pins uh, coming out uh, of IO control and has a couple of buttons and toggle buttons to signal um, um, uh, lines to uh, IO control so this is really a, a fake tool changer if you want. Uh, now let me walk you through the basic behavior. First let's get out of e-stop, home the machine, um, nothing spectacular here. Um, let's do our first tool change to tool 3 here. We have no tool in the spindle. You see the normal cycle, tool prepared being asserted, we acknowledge that. Tool moves to the change position and the tool change, actual tool change executes and we acknowledge that being complete with a tool change button for now. Now that, uh, that's been how it's always been. Uh, what's different now is that the tool changer itself may cause signal a fault condition to IO control which will actually um, abort the, the M6 step, the tool change operation. It will not hinder the tool prepare though. That's the intention here is to use it for like a, a jam tool changer mechanism um, and that's how it works. Uh, let's assume the tool changer faulted so it signifies some code um, to IO control will set the fault line. You notice on this LED that IO control recorded the fact that it faulted. And now the, let's do a normal tool change operation to tool 2. Um, the prepare cycle still works normally, but the tool change step itself fails and we get an EMC display operator message with a fault code containing the fault code which the tool changer had communicated. Uh, if that is set to a positive value, um, let's clear that fault and do that again, and just erase that message here. Um, now let's do a change to tool two. What happens here? Um, we have the tool prepared, acknowledged, and it fails and we see it. it's just a little bit different appearance. It's a normal operator message. Uh, because the tool change is still in the faulted state. So let's clear that um, and get rid of that message. Um, uh, and the last feature I'm going to show is the, the standard abort by hand UI, which now works reliable since last week's patch. Um, let's change to tool 2 now for the time being. Um, Tool prepare is asserted, we're getting into the change state and now I just press hellui.report and the tool change and prepare lines are deasserted. You might have noticed that the EMC abort and abort act LEDs become, became uh, lit for a short uh, period of time, a tenth of a second. Um, this line is to use to communicate the fault condition from EMC towards the tool changer. The act line is there to make sure um, that the tool change actually noticed it. So that's uh, another loopback mechanism here. You can jump at that in, in hell if you want to. Uh, notice that um, the reason why EMC aborted the tool change is always communicated in the EMC reason pin. That's another signed int. Um, and the codes which you see here, it's currently eight. Um, they are all can be looked up in the emc.hh include file or in the wiki page. Uh, so that completes pretty much the demo for the time being.